like, how are you going to find out someone's favorite fast food? It all goes in the best way for that. Like, I'm not going to find that. Containment. Action. I am Trevor May. Paul, a.k.a. Action Jackson. Two of our favorite people. I got you. And welcome to episode 10 of the May Contain Action Podcast, Season Trace, which of course is Portuguese for the number three. Who knows that? I am Paul, aka Action Jackson. My co host, as always, is the lovely, beautiful, and talented Trevor May. Sup? Nice. I'm here. <laughs> Trevor's here. To PM's here. PM's hey, PM. here too. What's up, guys? With nice. A voice. With a voice. Nice. With a working voice this time. Look at that. It doesn't sound awful. I actually just realized that. Look at that. You got your got your microphone working? Look at that. You mean the you USB know? switch that I bought on Amazon actually works now? That is wild. Oh, it didn't work and now it does? Okay. Yeah. For, for some reason, it wasn't switching before, and, and now it seems to be switching. Computers, am I right? Yeah. Who makes it? Elgato? No, you green. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Which is like a pretty good They're brand on Amazon. Us now. My bad, guys. <laughs> but they make really good quality stuff. Like that's the thing, and I'm kind of bummed. Uh, they do. Yeah, you know, you know, how it works. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so, guys, uh, real quick check in. You know, it's been a week. Uh, Trevor, start with you, dude. What uh, What's been going on in the past week? What do you got going on? What's happening? How's your life? Uh, well, I got a new toy. I thought that I know Paul. I know you got a new toy, and it turns out the PM just got a new toy. So let's talk about our new toys. Oh. Is um, all, all the same toy? No, no. Uh, this okay. one Mine vibrate. is what? also none of these are sponsored, so okay. just putting that out there yet. That's right. Um, I don't know, Paul, because you are now editing videos, and I'm I'm sure you've like, you know, searched for tutorials or something about editing on YouTube. So maybe you're getting yeah. hawked this uh, this ad for the tour box. Oh no, no, I don't think so. It's the no. little like MIDI controller with the knobs on it that people are using to edit. Oh no, I've not seen this. Um, and I was like, that's a gimmick. There's no way that thing, like, there's no way you need it, right? You have hotkeys and stuff on your keyboard. And yeah. then um, I went and read the reviews, and it's got, like, a 4.9 stars. I'm like, okay. That, oh. Uh, was not expecting that. I thought this was going to be a gimmick. And then, like, a bu- there's a couple, like, YouTubers that I have actually looked for editing are like, I know this thing seems like something that's unnecessary, but I'll be honest. I Once you get used to it, it, it speeds you up about 30%. I was wow. Like, oh, really? It just keeps all your because you only use like six, seven functions most of the time, like you know, like ah, cut tool, and little tour box, and, cut, cut yeah. tool and, and like ripple delete, and just like so it moves all the timeline over when you get rid of something, like yeah, and you can just map the buttons, and there's presets already in it, and so I'm practicing with it today, and I'm like, this is it's very easy to pick up. I'm already getting it really fast, so I was like, this was worth it. Holy hell, nice, so worth it. It's Bluetooth. There's no cord. It's awesome. Okay, it's awesome. So I love it. I love oh, it. So very, very sick. Much. I love it. <laughs> okay, so that's your new toy. I, think, I thought it was going to be something you, else. No idea. What do you think it was going to be? I thought it was going to be another three D printer. Oh, you, uh, okay. Oh, I started a three D printing factory, guys. Now uh, <laughs> join my store. I start a new business. Thought that would be something I could just you know uh, spin up on, it's on of Etsy. Other Nineteen projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have an Etsy product where I design random little tiny little uh, parts for um, minis. Shelves. Mini figures. Minis. I'm making uh, D minis. So it's a tour box. Am I saying that right? Tour box. It's called the tour box. T O U R box. B O X. Oh, you Real got quick, the you got the how, elite. Yes. How underrated is the wireless aspect of it? Like of when the, you of the box when you yeah when you get something that's like truly wireless, like it yeah. just feels like it's better. Like you don't have to deal with a bunch of just you know shit all over your desk. Mm-hmm. You exactly. Can just be like, that's, yeah, this is like the clean way to do it. Like it almost feels better. Even though it's probably not a better product than ones with the cable, it feels and kind of when you hold it's he- really like solid and like mm-hmm. heavy, um, and it's got haptics. So like when you're spinning the wheels and stuff, it vibrates a little bit. And uh, mm. if you want to hold it like a game controller, you can. It's kind of set up similarly. Uh, oh yeah. So like I, what I anticipate is like flying or something, and I want to edit. Editing and flying without a mouse is impossible. It's like with the pad, it sucks. It's not impossible. It just takes way longer. This mm-hmm. though, you just sit back mm-hmm. and you use it. 
to do it on the plane and you're just as fast or faster because you're just using it. So um, that's, that's, I, I thought this was going to be a frivolous thing. I'm like, I think I'm going to waste my money on this thing. And uh, I love it. So I yeah, it's about, it uh, another time. for people at home, it's about a hundred bucks less for the non-wireless. So if you're a big fan of the rat nest, save yourself a hundred bucks. Yeah. Or you can get the wireless one. Yeah. Um, the Bluetooth <laughs> is very strong too, but this also comes with a cord that you can plug into the thing as well. So like it's, you can the make option. it corded. Also. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Which dope. And such, yeah. All right. Uh, uh, PM, you? you got a toy as well? Or is it? Yeah. What's the that, What's the toy? Your I switcher, got? dude. Your switcher, dude. <laughs> oh, that's not a toy. Come that's on. That's not. A, oh, so I thought cool. you got something cool. That's lame. That's like I'm trying to think of. I mean, what? he gets yourself some outlet covers, dude. Is that yeah, your? Dude. Yeah. Some, your some, toy? Some smart outlets. No, I'm trying to think strip. of. Um, I'm trying to think of anything like tech related. I mean, I feel like I. What do you want? What's the big thing now? <laughs> I know you like tech you a lot. We all do. Yeah. Man, I was Noodling. just thinking about this Paul, the other day. <laughs> like, I don't really know what I want. I mean, I think if I were to like, if money wasn't an option, I think I would up my GPU. I think yeah. that would be oh, it. Sure. Because, because I have the LG 45-inch OLED, like, ultra-wide, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's awesome. Oh, but, yeah. like, I feel like, I feel like my 3070 just doesn't doesn't really Shoot, give me what nice. I want to make this like like because I love the you mm -hmm. know Fortnite Lego is awesome but I want to play that on like high quality like I'm not yeah. I'm not oh, playing that yeah. on on you know what what is it performance mode so yeah I'm like maybe getting a GPU that would kind of get me the frame rates that I desire with it with the quality would be great but I'm not I'm not gonna spend money on that right now man like I think it's doing just fine so um I'm just enjoying the Tesla, man. the 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 new software <laughs> update came out yesterday, and now I have another Apple one? podcast in the in, in the Tesla, which is oh awesome. yeah, yes, mm -hmm. it is um, really nice. Yeah, it's like so. slowly becoming more uh, Apple CarPlay, basically, or like a yeah, rolling yeah. iPhone in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm yeah, waiting is. for them to add iMessage to it or something. Like it's going to be, it's slowly becoming that, which I'm, I'm a for, fan of. I'm waiting for uh, to figure out what the little plus sign on Spotify means. I think it's likes, but it, there's no way to tell. I have no idea because uh, it's a different icon than normal Spotify. So I'm like, yeah, I, mm. I don't know don't what, know what that means too, but I'm adding it. Oh, you're yeah. adding to something. Yeah, it so seems like, oh, like a like positive song. Thing. I just press the plus. I'm like, and now I don't know where it is, but I'm sure I can find it at some point. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. You can't add stuff to playlists and when you find it. I don't like that, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Yes. Yeah, it's like when the internet doesn't want to play. Like, come on. Uh, you know. <laughs> Spe come on, you guys. Speaking get of it. that, did you guys see the door? The door. The door that flew that off flew the plane. Off. Oh no! Oh, you door. didn't see the story. No. So there was a plane that was leaving Portland, um, and the emergency door flew off mid-flight. And they had to uh, emergency land. No one got hurt. Like all, all that was lost was like a phone and like a shirt or something like that. Um, okay. But the door someone lost their shirt. Hold on. Imagine what? being outside. And it was like someone's like phone. shirt. Imagine getting your holding. shirt sucked off. Yeah, it was. It was like someone was saying it was like they were wearing like a loose like over shirt and it like flew off with okay. it. Um. So, but the door that flew. Oh out no! Is actually. <laughs> landed 10 minutes from where i live oh wow no way really yeah so like oh, there was damn. a manhunt to like find the parts for it just recently so that was like a big deal around here oh i bet Someone, no one saw someone's fall iphone sky. flew out and it survived of course that's amazing and like the like, like six like, inches and it was there's a photo of them like <laughs> holding it and like it's like still open and like you, you could like go through the person's iphone and i'm like apple needs to take this as an opportunity to be like the most durable phone ever. Like that yeah. is ridiculous. Kind of like Stanley yeah. did with yeah. the, with the cup that survived the car fire. Did you see that? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yep. There's yep. still ice in this and the car cars just burned out. Like that's so funny. Incredible. That's, I mean the uh, best marketing they could have ever asked for. Have okay. you seen cup. these Stanley cup things? Yes, and my wife has one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They <laughs> turned into, they turned into like, the, like the women equivalent of like Jordans, not to be completely sexist because you know women love Jordans too, but like I feel like oh yeah, probably most a lot of males, down, especially yeah. in high school, would like line up to get Jordans at oh, stores. Yeah. Sure. And now you're seeing people line up at Starbucks's to get pink and ups. Target. Oh my and gosh, Target. dude! What? 
I mean, yeah, you gotta get excited I, about yeah. something. You know what I mean? The longer I Capitalism, think about it, maybe. the more depressed I get. Like that, that's something about that is just very. That's what makes you not, depressed, Stanley Cups. No, it's the it's <laughs> not hockey. Stanley Cups. It's the whole consumer mentality of like I'm gonna stand in line and like push people out of the way to get this thing yeah. that doesn't even matter. Um, it's just I don't know. I don't want to get too existential, but my gosh, no, it's depressing. You. It's it's not a great thing yeah uh no but it also like if it's cordial and fun and like you're there I, like game releases for example at midnight like we were just there with yeah. a bunch of people that are like-minded but we were yeah which is cool for the ne- copy like everyone's gonna that's get it. one was, yeah everyone's gonna get one that's a good yes. question when's the last time you guys went to a game release uh halo reach. Oh, halo, <laughs> reach. Yeah, halo reach oh there you go reach yeah halo reach was it uh, worth it it was a blast it was but so like fun the they had pizza where I'm talking with no, everyone. The game, playing. No, the game was bad. <laughs> the game oh, the was game awful. sucked. No, no, the game was bad. But the uh, but the release was fun. Release was a lot of fun. Well, I'd never done really a release duties. before. So one of the Call of Duties I think was one because I was I was too young for the Halo releases. Um, yeah, when they yeah, were in their prime, baby. obviously. Um, yeah, you're very young. Oh, I had to beg my mom to get Halo Three. That was like a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Good times, man. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, that's like, I don't know. It's different, though, right? Like, waiting in line for a game is feels different than waiting at Starbucks for a cup that, like, has, like, 50 of them. And there's 200 people waiting in line. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah, it's not the same. Freaking mobs, people. Yeah, I did Black yeah. Friday once. Hated it. No. Oh, no hated no, no. it. And it wasn't but even for me. Terrible. My buddy was like, go stand in that line. And, and when they unveil those, get the collapsible folding chair and table set. My what? parents want it. And I was like, okay. And so I went and like, he's like, it's 98 I'm like, off. I'm like getting shoved by people. And like, I like, like took one out of the hands of like an old lady. I was like, what's wrong with you? And like, I, it was awful. Awful experience. Never again. Like, you had to like show up with a hundred box tops. And you get like, <laughs> It's like seven dollars if you're like, how many boxes of Cheerios did you eat this year? Uh, isn't that like the reading program at it for yeah. at like a uh, Pizza Hut? Remember, yeah, kid currency box tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should get into that one day. That uh, should just be the topic we go into. The craziest stuff you could buy at box tops. We'll just go look it up, bro. Uh, I would have loved that if my parents cared enough to buy name brand cereal. Um, they they went the, to the big like fifty yeah. pound yeah. bag. Yeah, like uh, like uh, like uh, well, oh God, what were they called? Um, uh, whatever, like, mateys, marshmallow yeah. mateys. Yeah, 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 like safarios. Oh, mateys, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Dude. Yeah, oh. yeah. The bag. Oh, you're like, oh, this is a name brand. This is a ten pound bag. You know how many goddamn marshmallows are in there, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ratio is not great, but if you dig, oh, if you dig, you get a whole bowl of marshmallows. Dude, you could get a whole bowl of not marshmallows. That was tough. <laughs> yeah. You had like re-roll. You put your bowl back in. <laughs> Sure, take Re-roll. a mulligan. Reroll your, <laughs> your oh my morning God, breakfast. That's also something we did as kids, especially yes. with, the, with the marshmallow cereal. Like you're like, nah, I don't like this bowl. You pour it back in. You <laughs> yeah, pour it back in. The- <laughs> Sometimes it was real bad if it was like just like whatever the cor- like I don't know that cornmeal stuff. I just freaking I throw that in the trash, and then I would get <laughs> get the rest because I'm you know what's a, a terrible terrible kid. Yeah. You know, it's a sneaky good cereal and one that you are going to laugh at for me saying, but one that you should definitely, definitely try as soon as you can. Okay. Cracklin Oat Bran. Wait, have I, I had know, that? I know. The hardest it's, it passes? It's, Cracklin it's, it, Oat Bran. It's a really weird box. It comes in a very small box that look like little O's. And I like as a kid, I always thought it was like old people cereal. So I was like, no, this is stupid. But then oh. I had a bowl and I was like, this is crack. Like this is literally it, crack, and I would just it, eat yeah. boxes of them. I uh, I have actually also had this, and it does kind of slap. It's so it is good, surprisingly good. You no. shredded wheat? Oh, no. shredded wheat, dude. There was like a oh my god, the this is a whole episode. The of shredded wheat. <sighs> there, there's and a you there's just drench them in sugar. It's a thirty <laughs> second window of eating those things. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. If you don't hit it, they're too hard. They scratch the roof of your mouth. If you wait too long, all the frosting is dissolved. You get nothing. It's just they're gonna muck. be all dente. Yeah, hundred percent. They're all dente. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have them all dente. Just a little soft. <laughs> but yeah, you have a, you have a seven second like window. That. All dente cereal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. We are, we are way off topic. Um, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. Uh, okay, really quick. Back on brand, I guess. Uh, okay. My week, I did something. Uh, nothing crazy. Wow, congrats. But yeah, no, I did a thing. Thanks, dude. I got a USB hub. It was great. No, um, <laughs> I got a uh, shit on. I got a 3D oh, printer. Skill actually, issue. yeah, yeah. You did. Uh, I oh, traded. I send you that thing, by the way. The the flare. Yeah, yeah. Send me the STL file. Um, I traded like a, a PC tower I wasn't using, um, and some other things, and he gave me an extra 3D printer, which is great. Oh, so, you bartered for this thing. I bartered, dude, which is great. That's awesome. It, bartering for stuff is cool. I, I actually I like. Mean, Really like it. Yeah. Yeah. We should definitely do that more, I think. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, so I bartered for it and um it's been cool. It's been cool. I I I printed some stuff. There's some stuff back here. My lightsabers on a lightsaber stand. You see on the video. Cool. I know you guys can't obviously can't see if you're listening. Can't see. Uh, and I, I actually got, can't see it either. I made a <laughs> I made a bust. I'll see it later. You'll see it later. I made a bust of Darth Vader, which looks really dope. Very happy with it. Excited about that. Busted Darth Vader. And um yeah, I made like a little toy for Ezra. So he loves it. Uh, just just so we're clear, uh your favorite um pop culture IP is what? It Star is Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, it's Star Wars. Loves it's it. Star Wars. Andor yeah. was a great show though. I cannot yeah. wait for season two. I want to watch Andor again. That's how good that show I was. I might watch it again. Um though I am going through uh I'm catching up on Fargo, which is a phenomenal show, and I don't think it gets You're enough the love. Third person Random. I've heard talk about Dude, that. Lately. It's true detective. That's very odd. Yeah. Yeah. It's just true detective. Every every <laughs> season isn't related to each other, right? Like no, it's, they're it's, all it's separate kind of its own separate great. thing. Yeah. And to be oh. honest, I'm three seasons in. I'm about to watch the final uh the final for three. And uh there hasn't mm. been a clunker See, even though three is probably the weakest so far, it's still yeah. good. So like there was there were two sucked of true detective. It was terrible. Mm. Oh, oh true detective? Yeah. Definitely. But I heard the fourth season's supposed to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. The, the third wasn't bad. Mahershala, I'll, no, yeah, Ali, Mahershala I'll, I love a lot. Yeah. But yeah, no, the first mm. one is is Chef's Kiss. Yeah, yeah. that's weird because we're um, we were talking about what I did this week. But um, anyway, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's, what? Do, wow. oh, so that's you really printed cool. those things? Uh, are you gonna print? Do you have anything else big that you want to print? <laughs> uh, no, I will. <laughs> yeah, I actually a uh, uh, a Magic the Gathering deck box be next. Um, you could build one of those and then put like little little magnets in it, and you get a little deck box. Hold your big that fat deck. Sick. Yeah, um, I'm very excited about that. I am gonna, I'm gonna challenge you right now. Okay, we are going at some point, some point in the future. I don't know. This could be years, dude. <laughs> but we should, we should go and okay. have. We should have a. We should try to do 3D printing and like do a do a serious cosplay and then show up at a con, me and you. Like so, we come compete. Who is better? Oh my gosh, dude! I mean, I want to make thing, one be so, so bad. Yeah, yes, it would be so fun. Like, dude, I'm, I'm like, I want to be. Like I think I'm gonna do. I want to be like one of the guys. I don't know if you haven't read the books, the Stormlight Archive, but like there's these guys no. that, they, they wear shard plate, the, okay. the sickest plate armor you can think of, and their shard blades are massive. They're like anime swords, oh. but they like, summon them. Damn. And okay. Those guys look so cool, and I'm huge. <laughs> so I'm like, might as well yeah. walk around with a shard yeah. blade and some shard plate on. You're a big like, fella. You know how much filament you're gonna have to. I'm like, yeah. Dude, it's I mean, at that me point, bucks to make that thing. <laughs> dude, I mean, at that point, Trev, just buy a resin printer. That's going to be easier, faster, better in a lot of ways. I think. All right, I'll do that after the show. And all the um, filament, yeah, buy resin. I also need more dice after playing the D and D the other day. Um, one set of oh, dice. Oh yeah, enough. I need. I need like. If you play a wizard, by the way, if you're that dude. If you play working a lot of dice. A lot of dice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you play a wizard, by the way, make sure you have at least eight d sixes. <laughs> Because <laughs> everything you do is is roll twenty six d sixes. I'm like, okay, well, uh, put them in the bucket, guys. And yeah. Everyone at the table gave me them all, and you got to roll them all at once. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like five d six plus eight or something. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, you get the high levels. It's it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, all right, we gotta we gotta we also have a show. We also have a show other back than the our days. You know what I mean? <laughs> back, yeah. back, back than our other than our days or weeks. Uh, all right, we reviewed a movie this week, everyone. Uh, another one that I have not seen, uh, and that Trevor and PM did. PM was very excited about this one as well. Yes, so I will be participating. You want to participate in all the questions, PM? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, perfect. All right, good. I was going to exclude you. Um, okay, do we want to go over some of the stats, cast and crew first? How do we want to do it, Trev? Do you want to do it? Because it was yeah, just, I'll do. I'll do it. I'll do it. Your idea? Yeah. Um, so this week is our first sports movie. Sports hey. movies. We're all sportsy. Sports. Sports. Um, nice. And it is called Friday Night Lights. Not to be confused with the show. Uh, this this movie uh, was made in two thousand four. Um, it's starring Billy Bob Thornton and uh, a array of a bunch of other guys that <laughs> I will name in a moment. Um, the budget was thirty million. Uh, actually, before we get to the budget stuff, it's really quick. It's about uh, Permian High School in Odessa, Texas. Um, you know, as we know, high school football in Texas is insane. Like literally, mm-hmm. they have a stadium that that stadium is their stadium for real, and it does seat like. 28,000 people or something. It's crazy. It's, crazy. it's like it's like most major league baseball stadiums are, are about that size. So, um and Odessa isn't a huge city. So, it's pretty crazy that they just everything was shut down and they go to high school football. It's still like that, but it was really like that in the 80s. So, Friday Night Lights, the budget was 30 million. Um it brought in 61 million. I think doubling your money is a pretty good uh takeaway. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, 2004 came out, distributed by Universal, uh, and it's a sports drama. So I think this is our first drama, too, that, like, there's some funny mm-hmm. parts or some really f- awkward parts. But, like, some of our stuff's going to be, for example, like, funny quotes is going to be. I'm I'm focused more on, like, you know, quotes that hit, right? Yeah. There's some funny yeah. ones in there, but quotes that, like, you know, did the job. Um, cast and crew is directed by Peter, uh, Peter Berg. No idea what else he did. Um I'm sure there is something else, but it was good cinematography. I did like it. Screenplay, David Aaron Cohen and Peter mm-hmm. Berg wrote it. Uh, Brian Grazer, it's based on a book that was written about the same, you know, Permian High School. Um, cinematography, Sid Pius says, Schleister, Schleicher, Schleicher, Schleicher. Schleicher? Good job, dude. Whatever whatever your name is, great job. Um, the music was all original, too, which was great. Um, yeah, and and it was it was really good. But uh, the actors, Billy Bob Thornton is the coach. Lucas Black, you may know him from uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift uh, <laughs> as the uh, the dude from Texas. Yeah, he's the quarterback. Derek Luke is Booby Miles. We'll get all into him. Mm. Uh, Garrett Hudland is Don Billingsley. <laughs> Jay Hernandez, Brian Chavez. These guys were all in, like, the rookie. They're in a bunch of sports movies around this time, too. Like, all these guys were... A couple of them were in Remember the Titans. Uh, a couple of them were in The Rookie. Um, Jay Hernandez, Lee Jackson, Lee Thompson. Like these guys were all in Tim McGraw's first. For it was his first uh, movie as an actor. Mm-hmm. Played Charles Billingsley, Don, Dan, uh, Don's dad. Uh, we'll get into him too because f that guy. <laughs> and yeah, Friday Night Lights. We're gonna review it now. Um, I'm really excited because I'll be honest, guys. I think about this movie much differently than I did when I was in high school. That is <laughs> the show. That is yes. the show. Getting half a show. <laughs> I love but it. I that was do, great. I w- thank you, dude. I, I, th- thank you for uh, tagging me in. Uh, you, yeah. Can I start the categories? Can I do the first category? Because I actually but by all means, brother. Uh, <laughs> we added the category that we kind of got ahead of ourselves last week, or actually I left it in, and, and I shouldn't have. Um, but there's a new... Category we'll do every week at the very at the top of the show or top of the the breakdown. Um, it's called guess the ratings, and so mm-hmm. I will go around the circle. We will guess uh, the audience score. So these are all audience scores uh, mm-hmm. from Rotten Tomatoes, from IMDb score, and from Letterbox. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Letterbox, but it's just like the social media for what you log your movies and you can share your, mm. your review your own reviews and stuff. So like Letterbox is out of five, and you can have decimal points. Uh, IMDb is out of 10. You can have decimal points and Rotten Tomatoes is a percentage. So, okay. Three different places. Paul, what do you think yeah. the three for the show are? Uh, what did you say IMDb and Letterbox were? You said it's out of 10. At, uh, IMDb is out of 10 and Letterbox is out of five. Out of five. Okay. So I'm going to say the Rotten Tomatoes is like, uh, 83. I'm going to say IMDb is seven. I'm going to say Letterbox is eight. Letterbox is out of five. Oh, sorry, out of five. Uh, four. PM. Um, what's I? What's the IMDb again? It's out of ten. Out of ten. <laughs> out of ten. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna go Rotten Tomatoes. 10, I'm gonna go Rotten Tomatoes. I'm gonna go ninety-two. I'm gonna go nine point two out of ten. Then I'm gonna go four point eight out of five. Jesus. 
Someone really cool. likes this movie. <laughs> yeah, those are high. Those are but way I just because I just okay, <laughs> never mind. Maybe I was just thinking too much of like when this movie first came out, it was really good and like was. I mean, yeah. I mean, they got good scores, but like, yeah. hold on, you're gonna. I, I'm t- to be honest. I look up IMDb a ton. I look up Letterboxd a ton, and I kind of know how they scale, like what uh, yeah. a real high score on those are. Like, okay, so let me give you an example. Uh, uh, one of the highest one is like uh, uh, on IMDb is uh, uh, Usual Suspects or like Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank's a nine point one, so it's probably not higher than Shawshank. That's like the <laughs> third highest. So. Yeah, it's really if you get over a nine on IMDb, you are it's like you're it's a masterpiece. Uh, I would say like sevens are like good, and then eights are like a great movie, and then six are just like yeah, watch it. I probably won't watch it again. And then five's like avoid this movie like the plague. Mm. Uh, so, for just for example, so to uh, give you to the unveil it, uh, the Rotten Tomatoes is actually eighty three percent. Paul got it exactly again. Woo! Uh, I'm crazy. Nuts. That's insane. Uh, IMDb. <laughs> How did he know? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, IMDb is uh, seven point two out of ten, which Ooh. close. Um, okay, that's a good score though. That's a solid. I said score seven out of ten, didn't I? You did. You did. I'm you nuts. Very close. Wow. And uh, Letterboxd was a three point five, which was higher than I thought it would be because Letterboxd is uh, notoriously uh, pretty mean. Frankly. Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. They they get in. They get in very like it's a lot of cinephiles just being assholes. Frankly, uh, oh people, sure. People are pretty stingy on there. So three point five for a sports movie. Sports movies don't aren't very. They're not very kind to of sports movies. Uh, it's usually film nerds. Uh, so three point five is really good for for a sports movie because it was it was well made. Wow. Um, okay. So there you go. I'm the best. Got it. Yeah, you're it the is. best. Great job. And uh, you know, better luck next time. PM. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, keep moving. This is a uh, this is an interesting one, I think. Uh, the yeah. Vivian Award, uh, oh, Vivian Award rating, sorry for opening scene. Uh, of course, rated one to Vivian. Um, PM, what'd you oh. think? Oh, what'd you think of the opening um, scene? How'd you like the intro? I'm gonna give it. I'm not gonna give it a Vivian because I don't think if you watched it. You would think it's a football movie, but I'm going to say it's pretty close because it just felt yeah, like Texas close. football. Like, mm-hmm. you know, something about... Oh, the vibe was set. Yeah, the vibe was just absolutely depressing. It was a bunch of grown men talking about 16 and 17-year-olds playing football and calling them names and saying they better win this or else their life is over kind of thing. Um, yeah. And so they did a really good job of playing up the whole pressure aspect of it. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, it just showed you why you should not want to move to Texas, which I think is perfect. <laughs> Heard it also that. looked very hot. Yeah, yeah. Can They're... I tell you, just from just from that, dude, what you just said? So I I we I started the movie and I watched it with Tirza, and I was like, oh, quick, I gotta run to the bathroom because I'm like, you know, the the pr- production company or whatever that like, comes on, like I got time yeah. for a quick pee. So I'm doing that, and she yells to me, she's like, 1988. Uh, you know, Odessa, Texas. It's like I'm like, what are you saying? She's like, that's what they said in the thing. I'm like, oh shit. Like I was like, here we go. <laughs> that was literally my first thought. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. That's, I'm I'm immediately sad. Oh boy. Uh, no yep. offense, Odessa, but you guys know. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. You know, well, I think hot. it's I yeah. I think it's um, one one of the more telling things of the opening scene was. Uh, who showed up wearing what and doing what to the stadium, I think is a yeah. pretty good stereotype uh, thing. You know, mm. the the white guy showing up with the rock band t-shirt and cut off jeans and everything. And then the one black athlete that's incredible tries to be like Deion Sanders almost. Yeah. Like, they yeah. played Basically, really yeah. hard into those stereotypes in, the, in that opening yeah. scene. Yes. Yeah. Shirt off running to two a day's practice. What are you doing? Yeah. Dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some energy dude i get it you're 17 full of it but <laughs> full of it and i'm almost like yeah that guy's 17 <laughs> so wait so did you give that, it a rating pm yeah, did you give it a rating, rating. I'll, I'll i'll give it like an eight i think it i, I think it's an set eight. up like a good football feeling but it wasn't like oh this is just about football if, if that makes sense yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 okay i agree with that uh, yeah, in that same vein, I feel like I would also, I mean, I'll save mine. You know what, Trevor, you go. What do you think okay. it was? Uh, 6.9. 6.9. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Not quite uh, a seven. Six, nine, uh, sevens about like, it would be a good, I would say <clears throat> going just a little bit low. Cause yes, it set the tone. Well, yes, I got it. A lot of dust. It's really hot. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but there was a couple things I was just like, okay, we don't need to play it up like that. Like he didn't jog sweating to practice. He didn't do that. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> you know, like like the, the the but but then when it like showed practice and they're all doing interviews and stuff, I'm like, that's that's real right there. That's crazy. So I got the v- mm. vibe. Like you kind of meet all the characters too. You like you know what the coach is like, Billy Billy Bob. Um, you know what the assistant coaches are going to be like. You kind of know the vibe. You're like, oh, this is serious. They take this very seriously, and that's what they're trying to get across. So they did the job. I just like, hey guys, I don't know if you knew this, but Paul and I recently joined the Forgotten Path podcast along with our friend Ray Apollo and friend of the pod. To play a little one shot as we work through a holiday story. Myself as Greed and Orbender. Paul is Torth and Stormclaw. And we try to solve the mystery of the missing presence. Go check it out on the MCA Podcast Network. That is the Forgotten Past podcast hosted by Noah Downs. Link down in the description to check out that episode right now. And by right now, I mean after this episode of the podcast. Thank you. Back to the show. There was nothing special special. There was a couple things of like, okay. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Can't make right. the team on the first day, dorks. You know? Yeah, exactly. All right, six point nine. <laughs> All right. Um, so here's the thing. Mm. Uh for my rating, I think I'm 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 close to Trevor. You know, I'm mm. thinking like it's like a seven, seven point one, seven point two out of out of ten for, for for my money. I think it's good. Good. What yeah. takes it down to a five for me out of ten uh is the nausea inducing cinematography that I, I I could not I I was like I don't even know who anyone is. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Like I like I know it what's cut, happening. Cut, cut, cut. Dude, cut. cut it was yeah, cut zoom, cuts. cut zoom, cut zoom. I'm like I'm going to throw up. I can't the whole movie was like that. Yeah, yeah. it took me probably yeah, it's yeah. like found footage. It's like found footage like documentary yeah. fake doc, photo. Yes, the whole thing back then. It Dude. Was- I'm like, can I get an establishing shot? Like, where am I right now? Uh, uh, I mean, we can get into this a little bit later, but like at one point, they're like way later on in in the movie, uh, um, Coach Taylor, is that his name? Coach Taylor? I can't remember his name. Uh, Coach Uh, Gaines. Coach Gaines. Gaines. Uh, Coach Gaines gets the news about Booby, and then he goes uh, from the doctor, and then he goes and he tells the team, completely lies to him, uh, and then he walks, and then they zoom out. And I was like, thank God, I can see legs. Like, this is crazy. They zoom out. He walks down the hallway, and then a guy follows the coach. And, and Tears is like, who's that guy? Is yeah. is that the it's doctor? It's I don't know because they didn't show him. I saw Billy Bob Thornton's forehead for that entire scene. So it was yeah. anyway. So that threw me off a lot. Um, I will say, though, in that scene, just real quick, I want to give a shout out to Billy Bob and how the fa- how his face changes. He did a great job. That was a good. That was a very good acting. Yes. That was a good performance right there. Great that was job. very believable. So anyway, but yeah, that's that's my rating for the opening. It's just the whole oh boy did it did it do that. Uh, yeah. All right, next category: the Ends Attack Eisengard Award for Best Scene. Uh, I mean, I think we'll kind of go around Robin here again. I, yeah. I think I'm going to say it, I think the best scene in the entire movie is uh, Booby losing it with his uncle in the car. Oh, dude, dude, that ripped me apart, man. I was like, it did. That was real, real tough. Really to good performance too. Really Great performance, good, bro. Booby was like that. I don't know if he what he was in before that, but like I was like, dude, these are like it's this is visceral, yeah, you know, pain. Like yes, that was very it. emotional. Um, and just really hit home a lot of ways because it was like at that point too in the movie in a lot of ways he was like I don't know that eh, he was kind of the first guy, first kid to break. Like to totally break because you feel the pressure yeah. building on these yeah, kids. Yeah, they're all they're all about to break. It's the whole like yeah, it's the whole theme of the movie is like pressure bu- building, building, building. I mean, they set the stage for that in the in the opening scene, talk about all the expectations, and yeah. then he breaks, and you're like, oh, and it just hits. So yeah, that was my favorite scene by far. Uh, yeah, Trev, what do you think? I I love that scene as well. By the way, can I just when we speaking of cuts. Yeah, like they're like this 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 crazy emotional scene zooms out from the car. You can hear him kind of crying far off, and then mm-hmm. it's like, and the Panthers are in the playoff, and it cuts into this mm-hmm. like upbeat. I was like, okay, can we just like slowly <laughs> transition us in? He was like, anyway, <laughs> Booby's never gonna play again. Let's go Panthers! <laughs> like I was like, okay, a little bit quick because Kate and I were like tearing up, and then we we're like, oh, okay, well, it's time to get excited again. It was, it was very fast. 
It um, was, yes. <laughs> but I thought I thought a good establishing uh a character establishment uh mm-hmm. scene was the when they were at the barbecue. Oh, and okay. yeah. uh when everyone's like Billings like guys like Billings Lee, party at Taylor's house. He goes, Isn't that guy like thirty five? And I was like, These guys are rock stars. Right in this town, yeah, because yeah. nobody leaves. And then, and then, uh, Winchell, the quarterback, a couple times says, Yeah, he's gonna get out because, like, he's like, I gotta, we gotta get out of here, but I can't, like, leave my mom. Like, you could tell his ter- turmoil in his head constantly. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't know what I want because I don't want to leave because I would leave my mom alone, but at the same time, like, I don't want to be here there. So, mm, yes, and then he yes. talked to his brother later, yes. whatever. So, like, I thought it was great, uh, because there's that he didn't want to go because he's taking only foot, he's only thinking about football. It's all he can think about. He can't have fun because he's only thinking about football. Mm. Ends up going to the party, um, you know, hooks up with a chick, and, uh, <laughs> and then Don. And then we also later in that same scene, Don uh, has another run in with his oh my god, Tim McGraw just needs to catch some, catch these hands. Oh man. my I, god, I was like, Stah! dude. <laughs> You're such a loser. Like the whole time. I was like, I yeah. hate him so much. And he's yeah. the dad in the blind side, which is the opposite. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, okay, you guys sucks. said that. That's right. Um, and then in that same kind of thing, the whole kicking out the windows and then the next morning, one, his son's uh, like just yeah, got, yeah. got problems, right? Mm-hmm. His, son's, his son's messed up, but he's a good kid. He is. Who yeah. does love his dad and just wants his dad to love him back. He's clearly got a lot of trauma. Built like if he had a good parent, he would be in. He would be an incredible. Every yeah, probably. just like that's a good kid, probably. Yeah, he's you know? a good kid. Yeah, he went and found the ring for him again. Like, wow! Oh, come on! That got me. Freaking best that got me. Uh, PM, what do you think? Best scene in your mind. I mean, for me, it's the it's the it's the duct tape scene. I just think that one is yeah. so damn good with the dad mm. who's just like, oh, you want to on the ball and just you know duct tapes it up and just punches him um also mm-hmm. kind of why is high school of, girlfriends there with topless by yeah, the way kind of just, kind of a yeah. underrated thing uh, of having your grown father who's like 50 comment on like an underage girl growing up and looking better yeah maybe we we could have left that part out i think yeah. looking back well, on that but yeah just the just the whole duct tape thing and punching is 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 awesome i thought yeah. i thought that scene was perfect because it, it it just kind of shows you like what life would have been like there you know, like I think these yes. these, these parents yeah. really live and breathe this thing, and so um, it's 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 sad. Yeah, <laughs> it, is. it is. I, I will I will uh, disagree with you on one thing that I think that I'm glad they left that in there or put that in there of him commenting on the underage girl because it made me hate him. So yeah, it locked in that character. It, it as really if any question. Yeah, but after like, he just oh, assaulted him in the middle of the field. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Hey Billy yeah, Bob, dude, fucking do something! By do the way, so, dude. oh man, that's okay. In yeah, general, man. the theme, like this whole movie, I wanted to hate it because I hated yeah. every single character except for like the kids. Every adult, yes, every adult, adult was awful. And so, like when actually like scenes I liked or I found myself getting like tense with the games, I was like, "Dang it, Paul, you hate these people. Why are you liking this?" It's terrible good though it was all right uh any specific memories sparked uh from watching this movie you guys obviously have watched it before uh so pm what what was sparked for you what what did you remember watching this i think it's just the feeling of like free or not, not sorry not free like like beginning of school athletics i think is what kind of sparked mm. um like the there was always that feeling and like because you know you guys i think you guys all started school at the end of august or mid-august if i'm not mistaken right uh i started in early september yeah, early september early okay september too. okay yeah. so yeah i guess maybe uh we all did but there was that feeling like in high school with like you know that that last week of august where you know the the football games on Friday were like the fun thing to go do. Like I, like, I yeah. don't know, it just, it just kind of sparked up that feeling of like here comes school again. Um, mm, yeah, that yeah that I vividly remember of like my junior and senior year. Oh, it cool. felt serious, right? Like it was yeah. cool. It was fun to feel like feel like it meant something when you're a kid. Like this means something, but of course they take it way too far in the movie. But like <laughs> we did, we were like, duh, the football game is like important because everyone's there. Right. Uh, so you gotta yeah. Win. Like yes. Like like you. I don't know. There's that's like your first high school sports is your first 
thing where there's like regular fans at it. Like when you played high, mini, little league or whatever, like you know, there was either four or like fifteen people. Like, <laughs> but like in high yes. school baseball games, we'd have like fifty or sixty, seventy people up there, right? So like that's when it started to be like, oh, there's actual people where they're cheering and we can hear them. Uh, so, and you just you have dreams of that being based. So like they're playing, they're playing like literally college sized football. So like that's really exciting for a kid. That's like I can't imagine attention. that, dude. I right? can't imagine that many people at a game. But of course, there's tons of pressure. Yeah. So there's two sides of that coin. But yeah, I I, I agree with that take. Um, I felt the same way. I, I was like, I remember in high school being like, I really want to win a state championship, like really bad. Um, really, and I don't For, think it landed like that. These kids were being pressured the way they were being pressured because I thought it was normal. Is that weird? Really? Oh, that was so. Yeah. That was like your reality in a yeah. lot of ways. Yeah, well, it was, but like my parents were like that. But like I treated sports kind of life or death. Mm. I did, uh, and then yeah. then I never learned not to until I was thirty four. <laughs> so uh, it, it it did play like I, that's what I learned. I, I like learned that's how you that's you just tough it up and go through sports, right? So I wish I wish there was a little mm, yeah, you know, more maybe addressing like the Billy Bob did the monologue at the end. I'm like, this is random and you've never said any of this stuff. Yeah. So I, I don't know yeah. why you're feel this well. So why? Cause it's like, <clears throat> well, we're probably going to lose. So might as well do it now. We well, could have done it. You know, I don't know. Instead of saying there's big expectations. Don't let everyone, you know, down on the first day of practice. <laughs> like, like I had yeah. a coach do that once I had a coach do that in professional baseball. And I was like, he's like, the fans expect you to win. We expect you to win. The organization expects you to win. I'm like, we know, dude. Like, how is this helping at all? And oh, no. Yeah. So I, I was like, that was the worst opening speech ever. I'm not going to say who it was because I, I I do like them as a person. But, yeah, they weren't good at that. That was bad. It was really mm. – and a lot of guys looked around like, what the hell was that? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh, no. You know, there's no winning. Ha, 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 smile. So uh, <laughs> that – I've never been a fan of that. So I heard that. I was like – like my eye would started twitching. I was like, this is my life. I hate you. You should have stopped it. You should have stopped that dad from pushing his son over. Oh, my over. gosh. It, uh, infuriating part of the movie. Yeah. So I was getting mad a lot, but also, but the but the, but the the play was great, man, and the filming was good. I, I just, I've never seen so many high school kids get flipped Dude. when they were hit. <laughs> that. Which is cr- also, why are all of their faces bloody <laughs> all of the time? I was like, I thought the same thing. I'm like, how many concussions? That doesn't happen. Why are they so? They have face masks on. What's happening? And how are their cuts healing so fast? <laughs> Between games. <laughs> the halftime, they're all like, like they're half are missing half their teeth. I'm like, That's yeah. Not what this is? No, no. I, I mean, a, a lot of that stuff was obviously dramatized for the for the movie. But I really want to know how close it was to the actual like true story. Like I want to know what the real people think of it because I didn't I didn't do any research on that. So I'd be really curious to think Ooh. like. Uh, yeah, we definitely did not get that bloody. Um, so and so was not that big of a dick or whatever. Like, who knows? Um, didn't line up with anything from your high school days. Uh, I mean, to some extent, like we took sports pretty seriously, but it wasn't like um, it wasn't life or death for sure uh, by any means. We um, coming from like a Christian school, like a pretty small Christian school. Mm-hmm. Sports were important, but. Uh, it was not the main thing. The main thing was your relationship with God. So that was like the main, the main gotcha. thing people cared about. Uh, parents, teachers, coaches, whatever. Like that was that yeah. was always the thing that was the most important thing. And sports was like third on the list. Gotcha. So yeah, it was academics and then sports. So yeah, I never had that kind of pressure. I'm really thankful for that. Uh, I put all that pressure on myself as a high schooler, mm-hmm. um, playing in front of people and, and whatever. Like, I, I mean, the, the palms of my hands would get unbelievably sweaty when I finally played varsity basketball in like front of a big crowd. Uh, Cause I played yeah. baseball and soccer. There's no crowds for baseball and soccer. There's no, yeah. there's, and they're far away. You can't even see them. Uh, but basketball, they're on top of you. And I can hear yeah. so-and-so's dad saying like that, that guy's too, you know, like, you know, whatever he's 30 or whatever they would say. Yeah. Like, I massive. yeah I'd hear that a lot. Um, so yeah, anyway, so no, it wasn't really that that big of a deal for me. It didn't really spark that. But it definitely got me like excited for watching uh Ezra play sports if he decides to do that. Right. That'd be really cool. Uh it got me excited to be the exact opposite of all the parents in the movie. How about that? Yeah. That's it got me yeah. jacked up for that. Um, all right, favorite characters. Oh, favorite characters. I mean, for me, 
For me, I'm going to say Booby. He's one of my favorite characters. I like Booby a lot. I feel like I'm stealing Booby, but I'm going first. I knew I like, you were going to say Booby. I freaking like Booby a lot. I like Booby. Uh, he's, he's very relatable in a lot of ways. He isn't until he cracks. He like in a lot of ways yeah. he isn't until he cracks. Um, he's extremes. He's extremes both ways, which is really yes. awesome because that's not easy to do as an actor. And he did a good job. I thought. Yes, and I enjoyed when he was on the screen. Like I was like, oh, what's he gonna yeah. say? What's he gonna do? It was like kind of exciting. Um, so he's probably my favorite. And then um, I didn't really have anyone else that really stuck out to me that I was super excited about, to be honest with you. But um, yeah. that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Just Booby. Also, his name's Booby. So that's that's cool. Just, just one booby. Single booby. Single booby. <laughs> yep. Um it was kind of tough. I feel like there were so many good characters. Booby's kind of a mm. cop out to me, like no offense, Paul. Like I feel like he's <laughs> he's just a little bit of a cop out. Um yeah. I think Coach Gaines is really good. I think his 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 character, I thought Billy Bob Thornton did a great job with that. I think um I think Billingsley was great too. I think it's the perfect perfect mm. like what how, what's the term trevor casting or you you know like yeah. they they thought oh the you mean don for that the role. kid yeah yeah the uh, kind of he was perfect. he's he the was most perfect intense insane he's got the teeth where he's like gr- gr- when he like grits his teeth like you can yeah. very tell yeah, that's true. and then his eyes well up and he's got really blue eyes so it's like yeah he just shows emotion it was perfect strongly. i mean i think i i would probably go with him i just i'm not a fan of um mike and i wasn't a fan of him in in fast and furious 3 like I, just for some reason his fast and furious his 3, acting style right? is not my thing so yeah um, drift. yeah i'll go with uh, it? oh I never, yeah I never saw that that's funny you, you never, never saw tokyo, tokyo drift? Dr- what I never There's saw tokyo drift. that oh never my that. gosh dude that tokyo drift is probably the best one <laughs> it's, really? it's the it most is. cult classic what? now like I'm, it's yeah, the it most is. true the most true to fast and furious yeah yeah, it's the most unique. It's like it's like a spinoff, right? They're different characters, but like it ties it in really. I just I just loved it. I just thought the setting was great and huh. so random, and it, I know it was good. And we see Tam. Tam's cool. Uh, so uh, I had I love Ivory Christian. First of all, name. Mwah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, N- just, just, <laughs> name. Just the du- okay. So the, him just sitting there and yeah. being angry and like being the, the the G like the D end like big boy. And yeah. then at the end doing that speech, I was like, dude, stepping oh, up. Oh, that that's speech what Christian does. Got me jacked up. He did. Like, yeah. I'm like, that is a speech. That is what it is. He's like, you know, the, the ref gets in your way, you hit him too. I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah. They yes. bleed like we do. They sweat like we do. <laughs> like, oh my God. I, I love when, <laughs> when he's like, he's like, well, they're fast, they're dirty, and they're fast. He's like, you said that. <laughs> you said that already. <laughs> you said that already. Uh that was yeah i liked him a lot and then i I liked winchell but just because that's the quarterback i I, just because of his not wanting to leave like i i I identified identified Mm -hmm. like making plans to go to college and being like terrified i was too like i I know i know dude even though i wasn't getting pressure like he was getting pressured like i wasn't gonna be able to go to a big college probably i wasn't gonna be able to go d1 unless most of it was paid for also so Mm -hmm. like it was just kind of I knew what I had to do. It wasn't really in question. I'll be honest. It wasn't really in question since I was like a freshman in high school, but still, like, it could have been. Yeah. Right. I could have been on that line, and that's how I would have felt. I would have been like, I love baseball and just sad all the time. <laughs> just lie. Because of like, I wish that I wasn't in this predicament because this isn't very easy. But mm-hmm. um, And then it's so funny. Then he goes to Baylor, like the best school. Of, yes, of exactly. Of I saw that, and I was like, damn, went to Baylor? <laughs> Kids threw like, like 19 like, interceptions a game. He's like, From, come on over to our D2 school at the beginning. You're like, oh, he's not even that good. And then he's like, he went to Baylor. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. After all uh, those right, INTs. I guess that's cool. Incredible. Uh, yeah, I like also, that. yeah, I want to know that too. Like, I want to know how accurate the actual gameplay is to the movie. Like, did that series of events happen? They, uh, I guess they jumbled up some of the big plays that kind of derailed their season. Like, they were in different games, but like, they were all there. Like, oh, the yeah. okay. Like, that, that is how the game ended. Oh, it is. Okay. That is how it okay, Yeah, I good. mean, obviously, I, I don't think they would have changed um, that. The but. question mark, there's question marks around that. Like, was it dislocated or not? You know what I mean? Like, was it really oh, that? Like, the gotcha. injuries were kind of played up and stuff, but yeah, it was like these kids are dying. Like, goodness gracious. They jammed his shoulder back in and he goes, Can you do this? He's like, Yeah. yeah. 
But he's ah. like, don't think about your shoulder. Just get it. And he's like, he's like, I will. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I remember thinking in that scene, like, <laughs> is it that painful to get your arm set back? Like, there's no way. It is. So, it's like you can't even move it. That's I don't. It's awful. <laughs> is it really? I mean, it only is like that for like a, a couple days when you dislocate. Like, it's really fun. It's sore to the point, and then it heals pretty quick. But yeah, Jeez. it's bad right away, it's, it's really bad. Uh, uh, apparently uh, during a Magic the Gathering like get together in Texas. Uh, with like a bunch of people like Pool Shark and Ames and Lupo and and, and a bunch of other people, uh, Batty, they, uh, uh, Tim Darkness was like walking by himself down a set of stairs, fell, dislocated his arm, and then like what? Yeah, and then Pool Shark popped it back in, and then apparently he was just like mostly fine, like yeah. the re- he was just fine. It depends on how you separate it, where it separates, like what direction okay. it goes. Sometimes it comes straight out. And it's just you put it right straight back in. But if it's like in an angle, you have to like, uh, uh, like, the oh, ball's okay. a little different. You can push it down. You can push it up. Yeah, it's it's, it oh, sucks. Geez. But his probably he probably like went into the wall and it just like jammed straight out. Yeah, that yeah, sense. yeah. That's that's. I'm assuming it was a pretty easy back in. That's, that's, um, some, that's some intense magic, bro. Bro, they were not messing around. PM, going to you first here, because okay. apparently mine was a cop out. Can't wait to hear yours. Quotes. Your Vince Vaughn Award for uh, for best quote or quotes. I mean, again, I'm 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 going the cop out, which sucks. But the best oh, quote is, is yeah. the, the best quote is if you want to win, put Booby in. Like that's you want to win, put Booby in. <laughs> like that's hundred percent. That's one of the 100%. best quotes. Like, just him on the sign line with an absolutely destroyed knee, just just being like, if you want to win, put Booby in. Like it's incredible. <laughs> That's it great. is great. That's the best quote. Great quote. Movie, far I, well, I mean, is, yeah. like, real quick, I, I would say the whole speech with Gaines at halftime is pretty good, saying that, like, yeah. most of you will never play this sport again. Like, that is a very real thing. Like, yeah. mm-hmm, you know, not to go on a complete side tangent with this, but my my little brother, um, his his team lost state, and it was, like, the only Oof. time that I saw him be, like, well, he lost state to, uh, Trevor, you'll, you'll like this, Adley Rutschman's uh, uh, Sherwood team. Um, he in lost baseball? state to him no, in, in, in football because Adley was a kicker and he was able right. to kick like 60 yard field goals. You should look that up, by the way. He broke the Whoa. high school record for it. Yeah, it was ridiculous. He he was a kicker at Oregon State, um, too. So, yeah, he's a, he, he's a stud athlete. But that was the only time that I've seen him and every one of his friends just ball after like a locker room like oh game. because yeah. they all knew they were never playing him i mean like thankfully you know bobby wanted to go play for you know juco but most of them knew they were they were just done like you mm-hmm. know there is no like pickup football there is no yeah. like intramural leagues that you can do like basketball so all of them are just like this is the last time that i will play this sport and yeah, yeah. yeah it was like just it was just too, too much yeah, yeah. i uh, i don't know if you knew this but i actually lost my state championship too my senior year basically. really yeah no um, shot I didn't pitch though. I just <laughs> sat there. I I, I threw the uh, I threw the semi. I threw a complete game in the semifinal game the day before to get us there, uh-huh. and uh, then our number two. Basically, we lost twenty four to twelve. It was whoa. It was a. Uh, it was not a pitching matchup uh, for the ages. No, it was a lot of runs being scored. Um, and I just I didn't even have cleats on because I couldn't play because I, dude, I couldn't play because I threw seven innings. So I was like eating Swedish fish and be like, we're 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 getting our ass kicked. This sucks. I've ne- I don't know that I've heard of a baseball game ending with that high of a score. Yeah, uh, twenty four to twelve. They scored four runs every inning up until the sixth inning, and then in the seventh we score. Uh, we put in a freshman, and he he threw a zero. It was like oh, putting a pitcher no. in, and he's the only one who can get anybody out. Oh no! Yeah, damn. But then we scored twelve, so we kept keeping it within ten, so we didn't get mercy ruled. Because we were really good. We were ranked first in the state. Uh, we, were, we only sure. lost one game all year. We were 25 and 1 going into the game. They had like nine losses. So mm, we should okay. have won. Uh, but <laughs> Dang. And I have friends that didn't play. They played a little bit maybe in Juco after or, or at all. And they still still like the pro. So like I, I am empathetic to that. Little, like it being, at least from a sports standpoint, it's the biggest stage you've ever been on. You're going to be on. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get to a state championship, I understand that being the biggest thing ever because there's not a lot else to look forward to understandably sometimes oh yeah um in terms of sports anyways or competitiveness so dang yeah uh the fun fact from my uh high school uh the closest i ever got personally was uh regionals 
Uh, that was my senior year, and we lost in regionals. We won. Lost. It was soccer. Uh, it's soccer, Greg. Soccer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was one nil, and I was the keeper, so I felt personally responsible for that. Um, why, didn't you, why didn't you stop it? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Do you remember so, where the goal was? Like skill issue. What um, no. Uh, no, I don't actually remember. Where the blocked goal it was. out. Got it. Got I don't it. remember where the goal was at all. Yeah, I completely blocked that out. <laughs> but it was. But yeah, I was like on the field crying. I remember that being a big thing. But it was just more like I'm sad that that happened. Like I'll play. I'll play soccer again. No, that's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty easy sport to pick up. But um, okay. fun fact about my school is that because again, small Christian school. Uh, they were pretty uh, dogmatic back in the day. They have changed since this time. But because state championships were played on Sundays, we never participated in state championships. And we made it a lot in basketball and in soccer. And they refused to play. So Please the person we beat went to states. It was awful. That is it was awful. What is the point? It what was awful. I th- and that's exactly the argument they made. They're like, "What's the point of working for all of this if we're just going to give it up at the very end because of some ridiculous dogmatic rule that you can't? You have to rest on a Sunday. Like, what? That's insane. It's insane. Also, yeah. can you just can you, hey committee? Can we just do this on Monday, <laughs> please? Yeah. Can we just, just give us a solid? Oh, we're can, in it. Can we just do it on Monday? Can we just do it on Monday? Yeah, exactly. And they, yeah, and they wouldn't change it, and we wouldn't change our. It was this whole thing. Yeah. I think they. I think the soccer team made it three years in a row. Basketball made it like twice. Yeah, That's it was nice. bad. Uh, anywho, what about my big change? What about you for? What about quotes for you? Quotes, yes. Okay, I got quotes. Uh, if you want to win, win Pabubian, of course. Number one, uh, my favorite uh, quote of the whole thing uh, was the radio guy, the guy on the radio, who said, "There's too much learning going on at that school." I thought that was the funniest <laughs> shit. And the, dad, and the dad smiles like he agrees. <laughs> yeah. There's too much learning going on at that school. Like, I mean, of course. Of what course, some, like, West Texas, Texas bumpkin town is like too much learning. Um, Booby saying, uh, what am I going to do if I can't play football? Yeah. I'm not good at All nothing. football. Yeah, that was real sad. It was real sad because you see him like struggling to read earlier, too, and everything is real bad. Uh, and then the most uh, self-aware, I think kind of a meta, a meta thing they put into the uh, into the script was like, I think when they're skeet shooting yeah. and uh, yeah. one of them goes like, we got to lighten up. We're 17. And yeah. the other kid is Chavez. like, the other guy, yeah, other kids like, do you feel 17? I don't feel 17. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're As like they're 30 shooting dude. things. <laughs> yeah. They're also like the the actors are like so old, like everyone yeah. has like chiseled jaw and like Five o'clock shadows. I'm like, Speaking relax. Of that, the Dallas Carter football team. Bro, what about the field, had a bald I was spot. Like, the first guy. <laughs> the first the first line, and I'm like, dude, yeah. no way. <laughs> I, everyone like to Rick the Ross. cheerleaders, to the coaches, to like everything. And then Grown I also just want to say real quick, men. like, these are dude. two small towns in Texas, correct? And yeah. like these are these are towns that don't have a lot of people, right? How yeah. the hell are you selling out the Alamo Dome? Or the the, the Astrodome? Oh, the yeah. Astrodome. Yeah, the, the, the yeah Astrodome. I saw well, that. Well, Dallas Carter. Dallas Carter. Carter's like in Dallas, downtown Dallas. It's like There's a no way that many people are going to that game. It's football. <sighs> a state Bro, championship college, football in it's Texas. It's high school football in yeah. Texas, dude. No, There's I no think way. they would dude. go. They would go. Dude, it's, their, their home stadium seats 28,000 people. <laughs> There's like 50,000 people in the, in the city. <laughs> no, I know that. I mean, people make jokes about that because of no. Oregon State football only seating thirty four thousand. But like, it's I just I just yeah. don't believe, dude. I yeah. don't believe that. Like, I do not it was, believe it was packed though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That many In, people like, are packing that. The top ring would have had some empty seats. What nineteen eighty eight? Like, it literally Texas seats like eighty five thousand. <laughs> But State I do championship. You did you did mention this, and I feel like I do want to bring it up. I want to give this movie props for having the most realistic athletic oh, scenes yeah. in any movie for sports. Yeah, realistic. I mean, what? It is like like the the, the actual the, play. Like the actual play was football. Like it wasn't like oh some guy like dribbling a ball and shooting it, and the guy, oh guy got crossed over. Wow, he's so like 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 you can tell. Like no, they were actually like hitting each other. They were running like legitimate yeah. routes. Like they mm-hmm. did a really good job to make the 
the games actually look like a football game. They did. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah, it felt believable, like the hits and everything. Like I'm like some extra had to get chop blocked and like fly yeah. over a dude like, <laughs> for the well, shot. Turns out they actually used uh, some high school teams to do a lot of it. Oh, Those they did. Oh, kids hitting each other. that's they wanted cool. The sizes right for a lot of the the and and I mean it did. But yeah, there was a lot of flipping. Like there's just not that many hits that it, that result. It's just they literally fall down together a lot of times. They're just pulling each other down most of the time. That's what real f- football is. Not like getting f- the w- the running back running around the end and getting flipped by a corner every time. I'm like, that's oh jeez. He's uh, the guy who plays famous Jet Jackson, the the backup quarterback or running back. That kid gets every play. He's on turf. He's getting flip lands on his neck over and over again. <laughs> I'm like, he's dead. He just these died kids have again. Like spinal injury. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these kids are dying over and over again. Yeah. yeah. Wow. On the football field. Mm. Um. So, yeah, dude. I, I just looked up some like the attendance records. It doesn't have that specific game, but I mean, the lowest record for statewide. Was in 2013. It was 54,000 people. That's that I can find. That's not. Uh, that's yeah, big, that but was, that's not. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's not what. Thirty thousand. No, it's no. not. It's not. It's not. I'm just saying, they have the people. They have the people for sure. And and like uh, Trevor said too, it's Dallas. Like it's the it's Dallas. Yeah, so Dallas it's is big. So. It's, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I get. It's it. just believable. Great job, guys. You dramatized yeah. it very well. I'm sure someone in the comments will be like, actually, this many people arrived and went to the... I was there. <laughs> I was there with my father. I was the referee. So... <laughs> I was Where? the one that messed up that one call. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, yeah. Memorabilia. Memorabilia. Uh, anything you want from uh, this movie? For me, I want a varsity jacket. That's the thing I want. I never got one. I never had Did one. Uh, I never got one at uh, no at my school, so I really wanted one of those. PM varsity had jackets. one, didn't he? PM, you had one. I know you did. A varsity jacket? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, no. you, oh, didn't? you didn't either. No, I really? The shit out of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it. It's here in my house. I still got it. All the pins are on it still for all the letters I got. That's actually really sick. I wish I had one of those. Yeah, I want one really bad. They look really cool. Um, never got one. What about you, Trev? They weren't. They weren't that cool when I was in high school. It was kind <laughs> of corny corny thing yeah. i mean it's corny yeah it's cool now like yeah. i don't know oh no i'll wear this it's i'm gonna cool. wear it to my 20 year anniversary or my 20 year reunion um, there was a there was a thing at our school where you had to like if you're on the football team you were like required to wear your jersey on like game day yeah. and it was like the dumbest thing on the planet it is dumb very dumb it's very, very dumb. dumb imagine um, imagine having to wear like your basketball jersey to the game to f- I, school i think it was just football yeah, I think it's just football too. But like, I'm like thinking yeah. baseball jersey. That'd be stupid as hell too. Like, baseball would have been so sick dope. though. I wouldn't have mind baseball. I, th- I think baseball jerseys are the best jerseys you could just wear. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, not high school jerseys. Those things are uncomfortable no. as hell. Our, no, our jerseys sucked. We had to wear a um, uh, shirt and tie to school on game day. We didn't wear. That's old school. That's yeah, old school right we there. Wore shirt um, and tie. actually, no. I think we did. I think we did shirt and tie too. Um, for for. Varsity. Varsity did. Varsity, yeah. Uh, JV yeah. had to wear their jerseys. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And then freshmen, they were like, oh, you have a game today? Oh, whatever. Do whatever you want. <laughs> no one cares. It's fine. I don't care. Uh, like half the time, the other team didn't even have a, a freshman team. So it, it was like, cool. Yeah, it's a very specific, actually. A freshman team is a pretty niche thing, I feel like. Yeah, you got uh, a lot of kids at your school. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want a state championship ring. God damn it. Oh, sure. God damn it. Yeah. He kept showing them off. I was like, yeah. So could close. Have <laughs> could have been me. I could have put it up here with my uh, my rookie ball professional ring. Dude, you have actually a rookie have ball. Rings. Did you know that? I have three. I have three rings. I got three, three rings. rings. I got a ring. My first three years in pro you, ball. Really? Yeah. Got one Phillies one, two Lakewood Blue Claws one, low A because I got two championships with the same team back to back years. No shot. I did not. Why didn't I see those when I came to your house? What the frick? Why would you not show I me that? I don't know. They're just sitting on the shelf. You were buying. <sighs> Oh, okay, I was by him. Cool. It's been really cool to see. Hey, when you come out to Pax Wax next year. Uh, can't wait to Marcel you and just take one. I tell you. I'm surprised <laughs> they didn't steal a ring. Um, <laughs> get the flail instead. Stupid. What about you, PM? What do you want to keep from this movie? Um, honestly, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing <laughs> the the entire the entire town Car the sucked. entire place yeah. everything sucked it was all awful and it made you like so so the ending scene you know obviously when when he doesn't score 
my wife was yes. like, what? Like, oh my God, I thought this was going like, to go this way. And I was like, yeah, this is a really depressing movie. Like, I, like if you, if you take a 30 foot view of this, like this is really sad. Like their lives suck. Everything yeah. about their life sucks. And all, all it matters is football. And they failed mm-hmm. at that. Like, I don't know this, this entire movie, I, I don't want to be a part of it anyway, but if I had to take one thing home, it would probably be the cutoff jacket that Billingsley wore the, the, the jean jacket. I don't know why. I just think it'd be a cool mm. thing to have. Okay. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. I do yeah. like that. Yeah. Cool I also part. liked uh, Booby's chain. It was really good. I'd probably take that too. Yeah. I like Comer no. uh, wearing a chain too. What about <laughs> yeah, what yeah. about the crop top shirt that Mike was wearing while lifting shoulders? Oh, dude, I've always wanted yes. one of those. Actually, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> so funny. And then of course, Booby makes a Bill Cosby joke to make him laugh, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, that's very yeah. fitting of who you are as a person nowadays. Um, so, Why well, you didn't you know. know? No one knew. Everyone loved Bill Cosby. He was a national treasure back then. No, I'm yeah. not talking about him. Maybe Trevor, you can segue into this. Yeah, I will. Uh, oh. I'll really quickly, I'll I'll touch on this real quick. Okay. So very awkwardly, um, uh, I was like, "What's Booby doing?" I want to see like, what did he have records? Where did he go to college again? I looked this up before, but uh-huh. I looked up again, and I go, Boob, "Where's Booby Miles out now?" And it turns out <laughs> uh-huh. that the uh, n- the most recent news is from October seventeenth, two thousand twenty three. Oh, and very recent. Booby, Booby Miles was just sentenced to 13 years in prison um, for n- not disclosing that he's a sex offender. So, oh, yeah. Oh, so it, it wasn't. It hasn't been the happiest ending for Booby. So I was like, uh, uh, I wasn't expecting this. This was not on the bingo card. He, he does not look good. <laughs> yeah, he's his his yeah his uh, his mugshot was not good. So yeah, praying right. for him. Yikes. Yeah. So that's what Booby's doing. Uh, some of the okay. other ones I, I, But Brian Chavez went to Harvard. So <laughs> it's all good. He's a lawyer now. Maybe he was. Okay. I'm not going to say that. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh. Moving on. <sighs> Noted. Yes. Okay. Well, of course. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, all right. Remember, Leo got that. Uh, Cream of the Crop Award. All right. How does it stack up against other movies uh, around the same time as this one? So got- here, are, here are some movies. All right. Here we go. Real quick. Remember the Titans, 2000, Varsity Blues, 99, The Rookie, 02, Coach Carter, 05, Dude. Gridiron Gang, 06, We Are Marshall, 06, Invincible, 06, Glory Road, 06, The Express, The Ernie Davis Story, 08, The Blind Side, 09. Dang! Yeah, it's, a lot of sports movies in the old ops. Dude, there's like, yeah. there's gonna be some sort of flow chart to this of like, popularity of movie types for like a given time of year or or, or <laughs> just yeah. exploding yeah like the 80s were obviously dominated by action movies and it was like you know what sports movies in the 2000s yeah jeez yeah um all right so i'll i'll here. i mean i'll i'll go i'll go first i'll give it a stab for this movie yeah it's like fifth or sixth it's probably like fifth five. or sixth yeah, five. Yeah. What, what about you? Put above it. Oh, uh, right. what would I put above it? No, no, no yeah, you're good. You uh, I, I remember the Titans easy. Uh, yeah. Coach yeah. Carter easy. Um, mm. Invincible I really enjoyed. Uh, why? The, why? Why? Dude, you know why? You also <laughs> like that other one, that Disney Channel one, where the garbage man becomes a kicker. What's his name? Me. Yeah, what was uh, it's the it's the eagle it's the Eagles too. He becomes the uh, is it to, is it Tony Danza becomes a kicker for the Eagles? I don't remember that at all. I don't know that. You movie. don't remember that movie? No, I don't remember Dude, that at all. You gotta watch it. It's a Disney <laughs> oh, Channel original. Hey, hey, it's an Eagles one. I'll watch it. Um, yeah. And the Express, I put above that as well. Actually, I also really like that. Um, that was very. That was Express. a pretty. Hmm. Express is good. Express is uh, obviously very close to home because that's um, all Syracuse. But, oh yeah, uh, okay, oh, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah right. specifically where I'm from. But uh, yeah, so that's yeah, so what I put above it. What about you, Trev? What are you putting above I throw, it? I thought about five too. I would throw Coach Carter. I love Coach Carter. I like it. Really mm-hmm. love the rookie. Um, at the time, I'm a ba- you know obviously baseball. Oh yeah. remember, remember the Titans at all time. Yes, like Denzel, bro, is a oh. sports movie. Like it's Denzel Washington. Even and what's the guy who plays Yost? He's also great. So it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he was in um, he was in a <sighs> silo. 
the the show on Apple TV the recent yeah. one. I was just yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He was the one. deputy. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, he was in. He's in a bunch of stuff like that. He plays a lot of those roles now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I really loved uh, Remember the Titans. And by the way, don't no and Will no Patton. one forget that Will Patton. Yes, yeah. and no one forget that Ryan Gosling was in Remember the Titans. Thank you're welcome. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, yes, he was. Sunshine and We Are Marshall also amazing. Just like I like those like underdog. Get, mm. Overcoming adversity, or adversity stories that aren't so centered on how sad everyone playing the game is. Um, it's so blindside. sad. Blindside's great too, but now that it's come out that the you know the guy that Blindside's about is like not really happy with the portrayal. Um, yeah, yeah. He, he never really was, and then there was some. There's been some drama around now that relationship since. So I'm kind of out on that a little bit. Um, and also now that I watch oh. that, I hate Tim McGraw just forever. So. Uh, oh my yeah, gosh! In blind, in blindside, right? Sorry, I blanked out yeah. for a second, but that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that dead. whole so story is five. wild. Yeah, I hate the blindside. PM, that that movie is at the very bottom for me. Um, I would say it's, yeah, I would say it's around three or four for me. I, I think Remember the Titans is number one, Und, undisputed yeah. in my opinion, undisputed. sports movie. Yeah. I just think in general, sports movie, it's it, it's it's just the best. Um, Remember the Titans. I. Yeah. I really did love Coach Carter because I do play basketball. That's my sport. And so basketball movies are always fun. Um, mm-hmm. And I actually really loved The Blind Side. I thought it was really good. I I actually really enjoyed it. And, and, and that might be because Sandra Bullock's yeah. character reminds me a lot of my mom, um, mm-hmm. where she was that kind of person during practices and games where she would get involved. But at the same time, like... We took in a lot of kids when I was growing up that were friends that had really bad situations. And so it was it was kind of like I could feel what was going on. Granted, the story now is completely mm. terrible. And so I, I feel bad for thinking that. Um, but a, a sneaky underrated one, We Are Marshall. Like that is a really good, really, really good movie. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey is just yeah. incredible in that movie. And mm. and him alone is 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 what uh, takes that entire movie. The rest of them yeah. I haven't really seen. I've seen the rookie, but I don't remember too much of it. Um, hey, Glory Road. If you haven't seen Glory Road, you like that too. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I think I've seen Invincible, but I just didn't think I cared. I oh I care sure, either. I think that's the Eagles thing for Paul. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, I was like, oh god, another like Rudy circle jerk for Eagles fans and Notre Dame fans. Like that's exactly what yep. I need in a sports that's movie. Exactly <laughs> what it was. 100%. That's exactly what it was. Uh, well, and it was eloquent. good. It was good. Unmatched eloquence. Um, okay, yeah. I, I okay. I agree with that. The, I think the thing. So I didn't. I didn't. I, I shouldn't say I hated it. I didn't hate the Blind Side when it came down. Uh, I appreciated the sentiment and like I thought yeah, the acting was sentiment. fun, like the kids were fun and stuff like that. It was just like I, I didn't necessarily need like uh it was like kind of a white savior type of a movie. hundred percent white savior movie. that I did no, I not really so. need. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, like that's cool. Um I don't know that we need like a story about it, whatever, but yeah, even more so now that like more of the information's come out. I'm like, now, now now we're all on board too. Yeah, At the time it, we were like, I don't know if it is that. Yeah, you know, we're, and it's a meme. Fights. Yeah, it, it, it was a meme before. So I'm not discounting like the the you know that that can happen. It absolutely can happen. It does happen, uh, for sure. It just felt like it was kind of glorifying it to a, a level it didn't need potentially. Really keep that up a lot. Yeah, you're right. It kind of did. They, but they leaned heavily into that. They leaned it, but I know. And also, it yeah it. Anyway, there's like a there's like a whole thing with like people I knew, like parents that were like that would make weird comments about it and stuff. And I was like, I don't know. Okay. But, okay, okay. Uh, so, but uh, the other ones, I mean, obviously I think remember the Titans is, is I think the best one. I don't know. I mean, I think it was the most fun. So the most quotable, um, but that's the thing too, with these movies, a lot of the ones that it's paired up against, they are like you said, Trevor, they're like uh, uh underdog or kind of like coming of age movies in a lot of ways where sure. Friday night lights is just like, it just beats the hell out of you for it's two dramatic. hours. It's 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 it's, it's, it's like tough. The mental toll that is. T- I'm like, if these kids get out of here and have even a remotely normal life, I, I, it, it's a miracle. They are just beat to death, uh, mentally, physically, all the time. When uh, the when the commentator at the state championship game was like was like, it's a bloodbath out there. We, forget about the game. We got to worry. We got to worry about oh, yeah. all the kids home. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. They're freaking children and they're just yeah. smashing to each other, breaking bones. And it was it was insane. 
Uh, so yeah, I, in that way, I like couldn't wait for all the parents to just be gone. Like the parents were mm-hmm. awful. And I also was like this whole Tim McGraw redemption story where he like gives him the ring. Yeah. Very sentimental. I get it. It's nice in a lot of ways. Also not enough. Yeah, not enough. Late. Did it? He, he yeah. want the ring. It's not about the ring. <laughs> Grow up. Not enough. He wants you. Not the damn ring. Oh yeah. my gosh. He's like, finally, son, you dislocated your shoulder. They <laughs> popped it back in. Then he went back out there and played. Here's my love. Yeah, you've officially earned my love. Congrats. We'll see you about tomorrow. Like, that shut freaking, up, dude. Oh, uh, but that goes to show too that Tim McGraw freaking killed that role. Yeah, he did. He killed first that role. role. Nailed it. I hated him so much. And I was like, he's a freaking good actor. Like he's doing it. Uh so that was that was my ranking. I'm like four or five. You're about the same. Oh, did you, PM, did you say what you ranked it? Where did it fall on the list four. for you? Three or four? A couple of them. Yeah, yeah okay. I would say around like three or four. I, I, right. I, I, I think it's good, but I think there's just better. And that's not like the, a knock yeah. on it. I just think there's much better movies out there. Exactly. Certainly less uh, nauseating cinematography used in other ones. <laughs> um, all right. Any jokes or references that could be not used today? Um, maybe just the high school girl joke. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, not used. I mean, the thing is, though, that with this is like it, it, in a movie. No, because the movie is like the, the thing is like, it, what's the point of you using those words or you saying those things? Is it to yeah. establish something as a piece of garbage or is it to like throw in something for what you think is comedic effect on the writers or the director's point of view that just doesn't land now? Yeah. I, I think everything was pretty appropriate. I, even even when like when the, the woman in the beginning at the dinner like uh you know uses the n-word immediately it's like that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah like i get it yeah so it was nothing felt weird or out of place i was like yeah tim mcgraw's gross checks <laughs> checks out but they that's established what I thought. it really well like you're like if anything like you they would need to establish it like it'd be even more shocking now and get the point across even stronger yes so yeah. Which is what happened to me. I was like, I just went through everything that I went through. Holy sh! This thing is crushing me. And I this did not crush me when I went and saw it in theaters. And I and the <sighs> movie ended. I was like, I want to see that season. You know, like <laughs> that's yeah. what I said. Like I whooshed straight over my head. Like right the over whole the head. struggle. Like this is what you're in for here, Trev. I'm like, nah, it'll be fine. That's what. That's what's cool about watching some of these two. Uh, uh, after the fact, we've like kind of grown up. We have perspective of like it's not. This is not what it's like. Like you're missing the point of the movie. In a lot of ways, like it wasn't yeah. just to highlight because I mean, this the, the the season was awful. It was a bad season. I mean, it kind of comes back around a little bit. But if they wanted to make a movie about like a great season, they should have used the next year where they went undefeated. Yeah. But they didn't. That, they, yeah, that wasn't the point. That was the point. Uh, what about you? P.M. Anything you I'm sorry. Know, couldn't be used today? You Any jokes, references? Nothing. Um, I mean, besides just the kind of the undertone of racism no i don't think they really made any jokes like that that's i don't either our, our and i think the it's racism like, was on purpose yeah exactly. like it so. it's just it, it's just to show you it honestly this entire movie just kind of showed you how it sucks to live in texas and play football <laughs> like, <Bruh>. like like <laughs> I, I don't i don't really look at this other than like god thank god i, I did not grow up in in yeah. middle of nowhere texas playing football because yeah i don't think i could handle that pressure at all as yeah. a kid you know, like no. it's 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 ridiculous. So no, there was there was nothing that stood out that that really like 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 I think doing a super bad to this is kind of tough because it's super bad. <laughs> I mean, pick your poison. There was like thirty in there, right? And like in yeah. in this yeah. one, it's like yeah, try yeah. to find one moment where he laughed. M- maybe the Bill Cosby jokes, but like that's not even a bad joke. It's just it's Bill Cosby. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which, before that happened, any, like before yeah. we knew about it, Not, and it, yeah, and it yeah, wasn't like it wasn't like inherently about what he did. It was just he was making fun of Bill Cosby's accent. So like, yeah. even that mm-hmm. isn't that bad. Pe- pe- you know, people yeah. still do that nowadays. Yeah. Oh sure, yeah. I mean, he had an exaggerated one on purpose anyway. So it's like, yeah, that's yeah. the point. So yeah, no, it was pretty. It was pretty appropriately uh, done. I feel like for the most part. Uh, so next part is the recast, recast or nah. Uh, I'm a, I'm a nah, I'm a nah. I think everyone did a really good job. I'm a nah too. I don't, I I, I think of anybody. I I agreed. I do. I agreed too. I almost went with a nah, but this is my favorite part. So, okay. (laughs) This is my favorite part. 
Okay, I sure, love go it. Ahead. This is imagining who could play these characters. Okay, so Coach Gaines. Yeah. I had Tim Blake Nelson. You guys know who Tim Blake Nelson is? Ooh, I always have to Google when we do this. All right, hold he on. He is the uh he Tim. is the uh the guy, the That's overseer Tim. in holes mm. with the teeth. For for t- oh for Tim McGraw. Tim yeah, that's a good no, 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 no. This is Coach Gaines. This is for Billy Bob. For Coach Gaines, like, this guy. Yeah, he's okay. The, he, he's in the Ballad of Buster Scruggs too, which is great. I don't yeah, know if you guys have seen well, that. Well, imagine him with like some with some aviators on. Maybe he's a little bit of a different, guy, but I think he could have played like did, did it. I think he could have done a good job with it, and he's very southern also. So like yeah, he has uh, the twang and okay. he's got the vibe. Um, though I, I think Billy Bob is obviously very much the best cast, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Uh, for uh, Winchell. Glenn Powell, he is the uh, he is uh, Hangman from uh, Maverick, uh, from Top Gun Maverick. The, oh, the, the douchebag guy that everyone hates. Yeah, yeah, that guy sucks. Cocky guy. Yeah, 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 he could play Winchell. Thousand With the mouth. Percent. Like, he, let's just imagine he's closer to high school age. So, like these guys, yeah. them but younger, like closer. Yeah. To Okay. Uh, being the, I could see him doing that. Uh, he's a good actor too. I saw that movie with him, uh, the recently with him and. Uh, what Sadie? Uh, what's her name from Euphoria? I don't remember. Uh, anyone but Cowell. you? Oh, anyone but you? It's a pretty. He's yeah. a pretty good actor. Yeah, I, I didn't really get it in Top Gun, but I got it in this. Uh, and then Booby. This one was interesting. Okay. I, only, I could. It's very hard to find anybody. Yeah. But Quincy Isaiah, the guy who plays, uh, he plays Magic Johnson in Winning Time. Mm. You should, yeah. dude. Yes. He 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 plays magic, cocky Magic Johnson. Perfect. Oh, Big smile, dude. Yeah. He, okay. It's as close to that he could get. He has the same exact vibe. I mean, okay. that's, that's literally character. the same character as as it's as literally Winning the same Time. Character. Which Paul, if you and haven't seen Winning learn. Time, you should watch. No, it. Did they cancel it? Um, no, it's the second over. season was terrible, it. but the first season was fantastic. Oh. No, it, it's completely run its course. They finished it. Yeah. Oh, they finished it. Oh, okay. Got yeah. It. It's it's really great and. uh you know what's his name is uh, Cal Naughton. What, who, what am I? Why am I blanking? John I C. Know. Riley. John C. Riley is the. Is oh, the that's right. Is is, yeah. is uh, it's Jerry Bus. Jerry Bus. Uh, for Don Billingsley, that's the son. Uh, young Channing T. Channing Tatum. Okay, sure. He, okay. Could he could do it, but I still think he was the best. The guy played him. Yeah, was the best. And then Shea Wiggum for his dad. Uh, he is. Yeah, look him up. He is. He's also in the season of. Uh, Fargo I'm watching right now. He's always an asshole and everything is in. Hmm. Okay. Not and bad. he's also Southern. He's also Southern. He always plays like a cop that's an idiot. <laughs> he plays a cop that's an idiot. <laughs> he's also, he's always an idiot cop all the time. So okay. I thought Shea, I think Shea Wiggum would have played him really well. I don't know how out. you find these people, dude. I don't know how you do this. I just watch a lot of stuff, dude. Dude, and you remember people's names and stuff, and I, I don't. No, I, I don't remember the names. I looked them all up. Every single one of these guys. Oh, right. okay, all right, that's a yeah. more believable. Uh, but I was like, oh, he was in that, and so I went and looked at the cast there, and then found out their names. But now I'm learning all their names. Uh, so. uh, yeah. Fun fact, I just found out. You know that Amber Heard was in Friday Night Lights. She was in. Oh, Friday she Night the. Lights? She. Is she the. I think she's she the, the young girl. girl. She's the young girl, yeah, that he's with, and, he and the with? dad's like, "You've uh, really grown." Oh, no that way! Is... Wow, oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Freaking Amber Heard. No, I wonder way. I wonder. I wonder what that set was like. Maybe I don't uh, feel as bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. yeah, I wonder what that set was like. All right, so that's that's our recast. Yeah, I didn't have anyone. I was like, I can't. There's no one. No, yeah, no, it, no. Was, it, it was it was, it was a tough one for that. Yeah. Um, but I would say if if it were between the, everyone I said and everyone they did, I would pick everyone they did, probably across the board. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it was 100%. done super well. So, all right, our final rating. We've come to the end of the rating. Uh, you guys go first. I'll go. I haven't watched it, right? So mine isn't as impactful. So, uh, PM, you you loved it. You love you love this movie. At least you texted that. Yeah. What do you what do you give it? I mean, I think early on, so we're doing this out of ten, correct? Like that's the kind yes, of rating of we're going with. Yeah. yeah. So like, I think, I think early on, this this movie really came out when I was in middle school, going into high school, and so like for me, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like this is what high school. Yeah. Like, like like you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think yeah. so. I think for me, I kind of put it in the seven to eight range because I thought it was something that was 
like really cool at the time. And I was like, this is what I like want my athletic experience in high school to be. And obviously that mm-hmm. didn't happen, but you know, it was, it was cool <laughs> revisiting it last night. I, I, I actually kind of sat there and I was like, this is the most depressing movie that I've yeah. seen in a long time. And so I probably bring mm. it back down to like a five, not saying it wasn't good. I just, it just didn't hit the same as the first time. Um, okay. I think, I think I now relate more with like, the post high school people that are just like, yeah, nothing, nothing gets better after this point. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, actually real quick, you know what the best part of the entire movie is, was the guy with the baby yeah, um, that randomly yeah. comes up and he was like, he was like, it does not get better from here. Like get you one of these. It does not get better. And he it's was like, memories right, and babies. Babies, yeah. and <laughs> babies, babies and what he's babies and memories, something I else. Think. And then yeah. he was like, all right, can you watch the baby? You were like, uh, me and the wife are gonna go away for a few hours, and like he comes back and like takes the baby. That that was a funny yeah. one, but he was a really good character. But like I think I relate more to that guy now than I did did ever before. So like, so yeah, funny. It's, that actor, he is he's, he's in stuff. He's, he's in stuff. I I was trying to find. I could um, place him. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this while you guys look. Oh yeah, yeah. I have yeah, no, I have idea, no who, idea. He looked like he was a, a, a famous actor, but I don't know. He looked who he was. really familiar. He's been in stuff around that yeah. time. I don't know. I feel like he's been in war movies or something. Like he's in like Jarhead or something. I don't know. Oh, like, that would make sense. Down. That just feels like that just feels right. I don't. I have nothing. I, that's based on nothing. But, <laughs> it's based on nothing. <laughs> uh, it just feels correct. Also, my uh, uh, tears. Of, I, I like watch these with tears. It's funny. Her commentary is is, is good sometimes. Like we're watching that scene. And then yeah, he's like, comes back for the baby after messing around. He's like, nah, I'm just kidding. And he's like, all right, go to your mama. She's like, of course. Yeah. <laughs> he just hands I, the baby to the mom. I love watching with Kate, too. I love this, man. It's like a great, like, we watch a movie every Tuesday now. Oh, nice. It's, that it's is great. Cool. Well, actually, we're watching movies almost every night now. But, uh, Dang. yeah, every Tuesday we, we sit down and we watch together. And she watches with me. And she's just like, we're watching all kinds of stuff I would never watch. I'm like, right. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. I would never watch these movies. Um, yeah. Oh, and, and to PM to your point earlier, because you're talking about uh, going from middle school to high school uh, and thinking this was the best, I think is more speaks to maybe the rating system of movies, because like at 13 or 14, you don't have the mental capacity to understand the nuance of this movie. Like, yeah. you just this is not you a high just school kid movie. Don't. Yeah. You don't understand the undertones. You don't understand the actual meaning of, of the movie, what it's talking about, why, like. You're just like, oh, that's cool. I want to play football in front of people. That is, that's fun. I want to work really hard or whatever to do that. And that, that's not the point of the movie. You know what I mean? So I think that, I don't know. That that shows that we, it's good that we're rewatching these because it really pours like a, a glass of cold water on like whatever we thought was really cool as a kid. Like, oh, this is yeah. awesome. It's like, actually, it was yeah. terrible. Yeah. Do or you find also, that- like, it was actually to be... To, it was it was supposed to be something else, and also sports yes. aren't everything, kids. Um, and also we're, that we're trying to make a comment on how you guys are under too much pressure instead of this pressure is good. Which you know, kid, people like me was like, oh, that pressure is what you're supposed to have, and yes, it isn't. It isn't necessary. It's going to happen, but it isn't necessary. Exactly so, right. Um, oh, I gave it. I gave it a a, a good old fashioned. It was an eight. Okay. Um. Probably. Nice. I really because I was just like, dude, that was it was just well done, done too. So it looked really cool. Mm-hmm. It felt really like intense and co- like, oh yeah, sports, high school sports matter. Like is, and I'm do, about to do that. Like that uh-huh. was cool. Uh, now it's a, like a five and a half. Uh, because again, it, it it hit me and it's like it's really sad and it's, I think it's well done movie. I think it's made well. Um, I I I just think they could have maybe made the points a little bit clearer. For example. Uh, Billy Bob going, wake up, wake up, wake up, wait, the whole state championship game. And then in the <laughs> halftime, he's like, you know what, guys, I love you. And you're like, <laughs> you've been yelling at every kid to yes. wake up the entire um, time. Yeah. He was an asshole the whole time. And he's like, yeah. actually, it, what, this, 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 remember how I told you to be perfect. Here's an abstract thing that I think means perfect. Like, no, you didn't. You Can you be perfect, perfect is what he asks. Yeah. Like, no, we're humans. Uh, exactly. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I found the uh, actor. It's Christian Kane, and okay. he's Brian he in the nothing. movie, and he's in Leverage, the show Leverage that lasted okay. a long time. Oh. That was on, okay. I think, like TNT, TBS, or whatever. But he was the main character yeah. on Leverage. Oh, he's main character, okay. right? So you just saw him, like, kind of like the commercials for it. Always, yeah. yeah. I watched a lot of TNT when I was good. <laughs> he was TNT. he was a big deal, yeah, on hmm. that show. 
that was like okay. his show. Um, All right, we nailed that actor down. Yeah, no, he's right. I, no, it was killing me. I was watching it and I was like, he looks so familiar. Yeah, he's every thirty something year old who graduated from high school and did nothing yeah. afterwards. Still wearing, oh, and he's a That's musician why he looks too. So familiar. Of course, they all are. They all play guitar. Every single one of them. He's a country music star. Yeah. Okay. No way. Oh, and I hit another like him less. Crazy. Uh, no way. All right. My final rating. I'm going to give this movie based off never watching it before and just watching it now. Oh, God. You know what's crazy? And again, I mean, at the start of this thing, at the very beginning, I was like, I think this is like a 7, 7.2 for the opening scene, and it dropped to a 5 because of cinematography, and that's what I'm sticking at. I'm giving this a five out of ten, and a huge chunk of that is just how obnoxious the cinematography was. Yeah, Although, okay. I don't even know if it's cinematography or photography. I'm not. I'm not a cinephile. I don't know what the term is. No, that's right. Cinematography. That was the style. It was the found. It's found. It's called like found footage or documentary style, where it feels like <sighs> someone has a camcorder. Exactly. A lot. Yes. It is awful because so it, we will it, not be doing Cloverfield then. Oh <laughs> my gosh! I mean, great movie. <laughs> If I, I mean, that's kind yeah, of the point of the, like, the thing is, this movie didn't have to do that. It was completely unnecessary for this movie could, to do they that. They could have toned it down just a scooch. Dude, a little yeah. bit. It, the scene that we're talking about with the baby, right before then, I think 90% of the shots had zoom. Yeah. They would With establish the zoom character, in. zoom in on the character, establish the character, zoom on the character. I was like, I'm going to vomit. Please <laughs> no. stop doing this. I don't we know who anyone office. is either. What's that? Um, when did The Office become popular in America? After this. Was it after this? Yes. Yeah, it was Even like the literally the same office year. Office isn't that bad. That. No, but like I, know. I just wonder. I just wonder if there was like a collective think tank of everyone who does cinematography, and they're like, we're going to just abuse this style for the Dude. next like five years and everything yes. that we do. It's so like the way bad. that they got emotion on faces too. They're like, if we zoom in, then we'll be able to really see it. Like exactly. they thought that, and they just played it. It's like YouTube videos that have like a funny thing that happened and then they do it like maybe 50 or 60 too many times. Yeah, exactly. 50 or 60. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing is I don't need to see Billy Bob's skin cells to understand the 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 gravity of the moment. He's struggling. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I don't Are need the, I don't need that. The uncles, the uncles. Bro. Oh my god. The uh, pop uh, marks uh, are like Yes. If you had if you what is, is it trypophobia? What's the what's the phobia? Oh, of like, yeah. Too many yeah, circles. Trypophobia. Don't say yeah. it. Don't say it. Yeah. It is. Honeycombs it's, just freak out. Dude, yeah. I have a little bit of that. Yeah, thankfully it was okay with him. But really? yes, it was huh. yeah. I watched it maybe in a lower quality so it wasn't as detailed, but holy freak. Yeah. It was yeah. bad. So yeah, I I, the I'm, I'm going to the movie. Was a big I'm like, deal with like, that. Oh yeah, people were freaked about the iPhone. Uh I was like I don't even know what anyone's hips look like or their legs like the only way i know what shoes they're wearing is because they made a whole big deal out of it in the first like five minutes of the movies wearing nikes or adidas anyway i feel like i'm probably because everyone was so tiny in the movie they're like well we can't show how big they are because no one will believe that they're football players yeah that's usually why they do it like that's why tom cruise is filmed like at an upward angle all the time in men in black or men in black uh, mission possible because he's tiny oh i didn't know that i have to pay attention to that next time Mm -hmm. actors are tiny for the most oh part, gosh. like, a, dude, if you're like that guy is massive, like for example, uh, Chris Hemsworth, everyone's like yeah. that guy's six eight. He's six three. He just towers over everybody because uh, everyone else is five six. Everyone's <laughs> very small. Yes, like okay. Robert Downey Jr. five nine. Uh, 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 Tom Holland five eight. Like they're all just tiny. Zac Efron's <laughs> five seven. So what? Uh, no, he's yeah, not. Zac Efron's tiny. Yes, yeah, he is. He's tiny. <laughs> Who's uh, who's his younger brother in the Iron, Iron Claw? The guy from the Bear, what's his name? Um, he's real hot right five, now. Eight? Real hot. Holy frick. Oh my god! The, he's five the seven bear. too. Yeah. Isn't uh, he's in a, Cal- he's in he's in Calvin Klein commercials right now? Kate's like, have you seen those man? Damn! I'm like, I got bad news. He's five seven. She's like, dang it. He's a little yeah, guy. Jeremy Allen White. Little guy. Jeremy Allen White. God, I need three names. I'm gonna start calling myself Trevor Joseph May. That is sick. That is, sick. That is so sick. No, you have to do it because it only works if the last name is super simple. Like May. Yeah. Or Joseph May. Like you need you yeah. need two syllables, one syllable. Like I can't do mm. it with 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 a complicated last name, but you can do it like like with the white May Jones, you know, something where it's like very simple to the point. That'll be my author name when I write my book. Oh my yes. god, I can't wait for your book to come out. Uh okay. 
So keep us on uh, task here. Uh, Trevor, do you want to run through any of the Easter eggs or anecdotes yeah. before we Let's do a quick Easter egg. Let's get out of here because this was a long ass episode. This is a long uh, one. Uh, a couple cool things from the movie, actual game footage. They used a bunch of real footage from 1988 mixed in that made it feel very authentic. I like that. I like that. Mm. I think they did that really well. Um, and the missed field goal in the state championship game, that actually happened, but it wasn't in the state championship game. It was earlier in the season that actually caused them to lose one of the games. So they're like, oh. how do we get this in? Um, because because the field goal kicker wasn't like a big character, they didn't really, like doing it earlier, like doing it early in the season as like a... This was a big point, but like we don't need it uh, to be a big climax. Yes. Right? How do we make it a climax? We put it in the state championship game. So that's why they moved okay. it. But it did happen. It was like a lot of people who were were there at the time and like they 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 talk about that field goal as like a turning point. So hmm. it was a big, big part of the book. And that's that's the way they mixed it in. And I guess the author was like, Yeah, I like how you did that. That's pretty good. So nice. Yeah. That's it. I got I got lights. That, oh. that you put that you put on there about the uh, uh, authentic jersey numbers. Did you know that the mm. quarterback and Billingsley were the only two that had uh, last names in the back of their jersey? In the whole movie, the whole in the whole movie, right. yeah. You should Comer you should re if you if if you rewatch the championship game, they're the only two with with uh, uh, names in the back of the jerseys. That's a weird B oversight. Billingsley and who? The, the quarterback. The, yeah, the quarterback. Oh. And and that's probably that. just like a production. Like this is in shit quality, anyways. No one's going to pay attention to this. Yeah, kind we of can't. Thing. But now, but, uh, but now when you watch it in 4K with like an 80 inch TV, you're like, yeah, I can kind of see that. By the way, wow. Huh. I did not know that. Look at that little little tidbits, little nuggets. Uh, oh, uh, oh. La by the way, last thing. Right, yeah. You know when he throws the when he like throws the football in the fi final scene, and you're and he throws it to the next generation. Yeah. yeah. You see, you see the kid that caught it. Is the same is the same number as Winchell. He's wearing a 40, 45 jersey. Is it wait? Isn't forty five booby? Oh no, he was wearing. He was wearing. No, nah, forty five is booby, but he's wearing Winchell's. Winchell, like he was given. Yeah, he's wearing twenty. He was wearing the guy's jersey. I said forty five because that was the first one. Stupid. Oh, he, he was, was wearing the same jersey as Mitchell. Yeah. Oh. Stupid number for a quarterback. Yeah, it twenty is, is awful. My it's gosh, digits. what are we doing? Also, how do you not bench that guy? So many interceptions. I can't believe it's it. Terrible garbage. Uh, any final thoughts from you guys in the movie before we wrap it up? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. See you next week. Oh, gosh. Don't ever live in Texas. That's what I learned. That's the moral of the story for me. <laughs> Never, ever live there. Didn't uh, need to be reminded, but. Yeah. No, now no, we know I'm for definitely sure. Definitely not doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages and sizes, folks, thanks for listening to the Make It In Action podcast with myself, Trevor May, and sometimes here for a good talk, <laughs> PM. Oh, was here today. Yeah, absolutely. Be sure to give us five stars where you can listen on all platforms. We're friggin' everywhere. And uh, what do you do? Leave a comment. Let us know what movie you think we should review. Let us know what you think of Friday Night Lights and why you thought it was a five out of ten and agree with us wholly and completely. Also, if you're a cinephile, please tell us some little tidbits we didn't know about establishing shots or cinematography or anything else. All really fascinating stuff. We'll see you next week for our next movie and special guest. Are we saying it? Let's say it. It's Jen. Jen. Jen's coming. She's picking the movie too, so we don't know what it is. So it'll be a surprise. Yeah, she hasn't picked one yet, has she? Did no, she pick one? but I bet you it'll be Bob's Burgers, the movie. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.